Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name is Gareth and today I'm going to show you how to color grade your GoPro 10 footage or your GoPro 11 footage in DaVinci Resolve or any other GoPro you've got with an FPV drone. So let's go, let me show you. Okay, before you go out and get any footage from your GoPro and an FPV drone, we want to make sure we've got the right settings. So the first one we're going to look at is resolution and frame rate. We got that set to 5K30. Um, lens we got set to wide. Hypersmooth is set off. Leave that off all the time if you're using the FPV drone. And I forgot to mention as well, we're shooting in 4x3, not 16x9 to get the most um, out of this sensor so leave that there further down then we're going to look at bitrate we got that set to high and we got our shutter set to 180 degrees if you're not sure what 180 degree shutter is um, it's basically double your frame rate so we have that set to 1 over 60 at 30 frames if you had uh, 60 frames Per second you would bump that all the way up to 120 but we are not using that today so we're going to drop that down to 1 over 60 and by doing that you'll get the most uh, motion blur that looks more cinematic and realistic if, if you if you didn't have that set to the 180 degree rule then your footage would look kind of choppy and not ple pleasant to the eye um, Further on then we got our white balance set to auto and we got our ISO minimum set to 100 and our ISO max set to 100. The most I would go with the max is 400 but most of the times I leave it on 100 unless we got any uh, low light so drop that back down to 100. Other than that then we go into color and we set that to flat. Okay, now we got DaVinci Resolve open. Um, the first thing you want to do is turn on color management to make things a little easier for color grading. So let's go to settings and then we go down to color management and change the color science to DaVinci Color Managed and then turn off automatic color management. Scroll down to HDR DaVinci Wide Gamma Intermediate, click on that and for the output color space we need to change that to uh, rec 709 gamma 2.4 once you set all that then uh, we press save okay we're in davinci resolve now and we got our gopro footage imported and we got our five node tree set up for a basic correction um, looking at the nodes we got noise, white balance, exposure, contrast and saturation. This is the way I lay it out. Uh, you can lay it out slightly different as you want but I find this works best for me. Um, so go into the white balance node, we click on that and we're going to look at the vector scopes at the bottom. If you want to open the vector scopes like this, uh, close that and we're going to go down to the bottom right and click on scopes and then you'll have this section by here that allows you to blow it up and you are your two scopes here or you can have one scope two or all four of them i'm going to leave it at two for now and drop it down by there uh, looking at the vector scope now you can see that the white blob in the middle is um, slightly to the left uh, we want to center that as the best as we can to get a neutral looking image when you look at the image here you can see that it's slightly on the warm side so clicking on our white balance node, we're going to go down to temperature and adjust the temperature slightly to the left until it's in the center. And with the tint as well, we're going to move that slightly up until it's roughly in the center, the best we can get it. And there we go. As you can see, when I turn that node off now, you can see the image is a lot cooler and not so warm. And then bottom right scopes, then you can see that our scopes are slightly balanced a bit better but looking at the the right hand of the scope you can see that the blue highlights are slightly higher than the rest and we can bring that down by going to our gain color wheel 
and clicking on the blue and slightly dragging it down just a tad and there we got our three colors sort of evenly balanced out and turning the node on and off you can see we got a much more neutral image okay moving on now we're going to go to exposure and uh, we're going to slightly bring the shadows down and raise the highlight so we can expand on this uh, parade but we don't want to clip the colors so we're going to drag that down slightly just about by there and we're going to push our highlights up to about by there and we can uh, adjust the gamma slightly to bring the midtones down and looking at that there we've got a much brighter image and a bit more contrast as well when you're pushing the shadows and highlights up you will introduce some sort of contrast so that's a nice standard there let me check rinse through the video to check we're not clipping uh, nope definitely not clipping in that video at all great okay so far we have uh, set the white balance and the exposure uh, if we expand the video and we shift the nodes on and off we can see that was before and that is after from looking at that you can see that the original image is a bit warm um, after we've changed the white balance and exposure we have given a much more cleaner image than before so from here then we're going to go to contrast and we're going to add some contrast to the image um, I don't go too much with this probably about uh, 1.2 max but I'm going to put it about but there 1.182 looks pretty good to me turn that on and off yeah if you want to turn the uh, nodes off by the way you can hold down control and press D to select one node or if you want to turn all of them off then hold down halt and press D again and that will turn off all the nodes and you can turn them on and off that way so you can see by adding contrast we have added a lot more depth to the image it's looking a lot nicer already just from three nodes that's before and that's after next we want to look at saturation so we click on saturation and we're going to go down to our saturation on the color wheels and slightly raise that up from 50 to I'd say around about 60 looking at this image don't want to go too crazy as you will notice the the image will not look nice at all when you keep on introducing saturation so we're going to leave that at 60 and if we turn our node on and off again you can see that is very subtle change it's not massive but when you add it all up together it will make a big difference so I'll show you here turn them all off before and after there we go that's our basic color correction uh, after this node we're going to add some detail as well I like to add some detail to the video so add a new node and we're going to name this detail uh, we're going to go down to mid detail and raise this about 15 20 I'd say 15 personally that's what I normally use and we're going to go down to sharpness as well go to radius and drop this down to about 40.48 that's what I usually use for GoPros and that's that so quick overview of our um, 
node tree. We have got six nodes. We've got our noise, we've got our white balance, we've got our exposure, a contrast, a saturation, and our detail. Um, if we disable all our nodes, this is before, this is our raw image coming from the GoPro, and here is our final uh, video with all the corrections. And if we look at our scopes, we'll drag them in, open all four scopes. We got um, our waveform, uh, vector scope, we do on that, to open our histogram. As you can see that we're not clipping on any of the colors or the highlights or the shadows. We got a nice balanced image without pushing it too much. But let's say we want to make um, the overall video look slightly different. This is where I would create another node and we would name this grade. And then from here then, if we wanted uh, a completely different look, like um, a more warmer look, say, we could go down to our hue. Uh, this would be a quick example, quick, uh, easy one. So raising our hue, we get a completely different looking color of the grass and the overall look of the video. So if we scroll back and look at that, so be before all green and after sort of all burnt out and washed out sort of color. There we go. That's just as simple as that, changing the hue from 50 to 56 and we got uh, sort of a burnt color grass instead of a green grass. So I've done some changes to uh, the grade. Um, I can show you here. So this is before and after. Um, what I've done was basically changed the hue. Um, I went into my curves and changed the curve slightly added some contrast. Uh, I went back into my exposure and raised the exposure slightly. This is the benefit of uh, DaVinci. You can always go back and change things with your nodes. This is why ideally you want it laid out in different nodes to make it easier for yourself if you want to go back and change something. If you add them all on one node, it would be uh, a bit more tricky to understand what you've done and going back on yourself can be a bit of a nightmare so when you split it out on your nodes it's making it easier for yourself so go into our grade and we're going to change the noise now so go to noise on your noise node and we're going to go to the bottom left and click on motion effects right so Depending on your computer, this is going to be quite heavy. Um, even on mine, I'd, it's a struggle to play back. As soon as you start adding any noise reduction, it's just it's just the way it is. So, but if you want to get rid of the noise out your image, this is the way to do it. And it's only available in the studio version. So, if you're using the free version, then I wouldn't worry about it too much. But I'm going to go down to frames. I'm going to set that to two. Um, we're going to set that to better and um, we're going to change our luma and chroma. I do normally raise this no more than about five. Um, if if we're in low light, I will raise this even more, but four, say one to five is enough for daylight. And we're going to go here and select advanced and we're going to raise this slightly to roughly about the same as our other one so if we look at our image now and we turn that on and off you're not really going to see it on youtube i don't think but it has reduced our noise in the grass quite substantially which i'm happy with but if we try to play back the video now you can see that it's going to be rather choppy we got 13 frames per second so 
that's just the way it is. When you're editing, then you can just turn your noise reduction off and turn it on when you're going to render. So yeah, that's it. There is my um, quick color grading tutorial for you guys. I hope it's uh, helpful and hopefully you can take away something from it. Until then, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.